Closer to home, the Stewart Health Hospital saga continues with the company's CEO refusing to testify at a Senate hearing and some heavy hitters are calling him out for it locally. Erica Ritchie is live in studio now and Erica, they called him out at a news conference within the last hour. Senator Ed Markey not mincing words. Senator Elizabeth Warren, she got fiery too. Here's a little bit of what they had to say to a man they say used hospitals that he owns as his personal piggy bank. Ralph De La Torre is one more rich guy who thinks the rules don't apply to him. He seems to think he's above the law and that he can take whatever he wants and not have to answer for any of the destruction that he leaves behind. You should be held in contempt if you fail to appear. You should be fired from your position as CEO. You should lose your medical degree. Dr. Ralph Dillatory coming under fire for refusing to comply with a subpoena to testify at a Senate hearing next week about the bankrupt Seward Health. Senator Markey says it was Dillatory's appalling greed, he called it, that caused the hospital group to crumble. Lawmakers on the Senate Health Committee claim Dillatory owns a $40 million yacht, a $15 million sport fishing boat, as well as a mansion in Dallas, and two jets worth $95 million. Purchases they say he made while the 30 hospitals he owns were drowning in debt. Seven of those hospitals are in Massachusetts, where Governor Maura Healey is also condemning Delatory for dodging the hot seat next week, saying he should be held accountable. Now, all but two of the Massachusetts hospitals have been bought, including St. Anne's in Fall River and Morton Hospital in Taunton, both scooped up by lifespan in bankruptcy proceedings. Delatory asked to postpone the Senate hearing until after those proceedings were concluded. That's when he says he'll testify, but lawmakers said nope. They say he's got to show up next Thursday or be held in contempt. We'll see. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.